Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Uh, A shoe that most people may or may not know about that I find very interesting. I would hope they get, but unfortunately, I don't live close to this area. But I'm from Philly, so let's talk about it. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Milt Neverson, coming back with another quick video. And today, man, I want to talk about this Nike Dunk Premium or PRM Philly because I felt like the backstory to this shoe was, was phenomenal. The execution was good. Um, unfortunately, this is a shoe that's likely going to sell out. You're not going to be able to get the shoe unless you go to the specific store to pick up in-store. You have to be kind of within the radius, uh, but this is definitely limited. So this Nike Dunk Philly, from what I understand, was supposed to be Nike's idea of presenting to the world like the heritage of Philadelphia, what truly represents Philadelphia. Two years ago, they came out with a Nike Dunk, and I think it was like closer to like a the, the vintage Phillies. So they wanted to get away from the traditional thought process of the way people think of Philadelphia uh, with just cheesesteaks and the Liberty Bell. They wanted to go a little bit deeper than that. So Nike representatives actually went down to Nike, or sorry, they went down to Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken, to get a better idea of what represents philadelphia right the concrete the moral the arts that you see around buildings things of that nature and they basically just incorporated in this shoe based off various people's ideas um to top it off they released this shoe specifically at a store if i'm not mistaken it's called lapstone and hammer and lapstone and hammer when you think about it that's kind of the original or back in the day way um kind of tools that were utilized vintage tools i just say were utilized to build and construct leather shoes things of that nature here's a picture right here um lapstone and hammer if i'm not mistaken opened up i want to say i remember this i think it was 2000 either 15 or 2016 but it's located in chestnut street in philadelphia uh what's cool about the actual shoe when you look at it in detail you'll see that it has cracked i think if i'm not mistaken it's like cracked leather uh, some premium suede things of that nature, but you look at the color, like the different multicolor designs, and you look on the swoosh, the swoosh actually is cracked for a reason, because if you wear it over time, it'll reveal more of a multicolor design, kind of kind of mimicking like you would see like any mural around Philadelphia, like different color palettes and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool, and it gave it a great touch, by the way. Um, and you've seen this kind of shoe, at least I heard about it, uh, with the Phillies mascot. Of course, he had to get his pair it is what it is just because, you know, you figure last year or two years ago when he did the Philly dunk, Phillies, he got his, so now he's going to get this Philly exclusive dunk. I feel like, again, the backstory was dope. I think if you look on the laces, they they come with green and yellow laces to represent kind of like the street lights, kind of like a green slowdown type of, uh, of momentum and then, or at least the representation. And if you look on the actual shoe themselves, they have coordinates, and those coordinates is the city of Philadelphia when you look up uh, the latitude or longitude coordinates. So I think that, like, by design, like, when you're looking at this shoe, uh, to some people, it, it just looks like another shoe, but most shoes usually have a backstory, and that's what I kind of like about certain shoes like that. It's just unfortunate I'm not going to be able to get it just because it's all the way in Philadelphia. You have to be in-store raffle, and I think they're doing another giveaway at a workshop seminar or something like that between three and five today, actually. Um, and I guess another one from five to six and you'll have kids and stuff like that. Kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a neat setup. And I wish that more releases are like this. And when you start realizing that when you have these collaborations with, you know, celebrities and all that stuff, but this, this has like this meaning um, behind the actual shoe, just beyond the shoe, if that makes sense. You just basically, you're putting your ideas or various ideas together and put it in kind of engineering a shoe that's geared towards the representation of Philadelphia, where I am from. That's why I love my uh, Sixers, Flyers, Eagles, Phillies. It's all good. You know, it's all good. But comment below. Let me know, because I'm curious to find out who's from Philadelphia. Did you actually, or were you able to actually grab a pair? Because this was, again, this was stupid limited like extremely limited i'm just curious to see who got this it was one of the shoes that i was targeting 
But there was no way I was going to make it to Philadelphia in time in order to pick up today. Got so much stuff going on. Your boy is crazy, crazy busy. But hopefully I'll be back on more often next week. We shall see. Cross fingers. Your boy, Mel Nemesis, man, I am out. You guys, stay blessed. 